Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our market wrap-up show for the first day of October 2008. Hello, fourth quarter. And we start the fourth quarter with the Dow not quite knowing what to do. We're down 200. We're up small. We closed down 1959. $19.59, that is. Uh, only one way to describe this market currently. We'll go to the Ohio Players. Back to the 70s for this one. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> I had to dig deep in the archives to find this one. But quite seriously, it's been a crazy week already. Hard to believe we've only had three trading days. We've been all over the place. S&P's down about $3. And what's interesting, the VIX still up on the day. This whole, you know, holding it at that 40 level, 39.81, this whole thing's not yet done. We have the Senate vote tonight, but until the House votes tomorrow, you know, all bets are off. The Senate, we will pass. There's no reason they would have moved up and, you know, a vetted parliamentary procedure in order to do this unless they thought they had it in the bag, in my opinion, and I think we'll see that. All right, so let's take a look behind the numbers and see what's going on there. The Dow Jones Industrial Average today. Very interesting. 14 advancers, 15 decliners. A big advance around the day. Our friends over at City, over up 12.5%. It's the first time they've been able to say that in a while. Big losers today are tech stocks. IBM down $6.83. Got whooped. So we've seen IBM and GE been kind of leading us down here. GE uh, on the day down only about 4%. It was at worst levels earlier on the day. In fact, those are the two stocks that really bought the Dow weighed on the Dow and this reason it was negative. So, what else did we have? The NASDAQ down 30 points today. Again, these tech stocks really are taking it on the chin, chin, chin. Alright, what do we have to look for for tomorrow? It's the vote. It's the household. It comes down to that. Again, as we've talked about all week, nothing, nothing else matters when we're singing that song. And that's really all that does matter right now. We'll see what the household is. We'll reassess. I'm of the opinion that no matter what the votes are, we're going to sell off a little bit, but hopefully set a bottom, regroup, and go up from there. All right, as always, thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Keenahan, Chief Derivative Strategist with Bank or Swim. Good health, good trading, everyone. Thank you very much. Good night.